All right, it is now Sunday morning. It is our last day here in Fairbanks and we're actually flying home, well, flying back to Anchorage tonight. So I'm packed, I'm showered, I'm clean, my hair is dry. I have some coffee and like a strudel from downstairs because um, I wanted to get it before they shut down breakfast. We were up late last night, slept in a little bit this morning. So we're planning on leaving here and heading out to the, like, the Chena Hot Springs area for the Ice Hotel and Museum around 11. Um, so I'm ready to go. I'm gonna go downstairs, but yeah, I'm really excited about today. I think it's gonna be really fun. I keep in my mind calling it an ice castle. I know that it's not a castle, but in my mind, it's a castle. And so that's what I keep calling it. And I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to stop calling it an ice castle. I don't even know what it looks like. I do know we're having apple teenies though. So that's exciting. I'm gonna take all my stuff down and sit in the lobby and wait for Adam and Sherry to be ready to go. We've made it to Chena Hot Springs. Um, I guess there has been a bunch of like fires set out here by an arsonist and it looks like this hillside has been burnt off. There's a plane over here. And also, I think this is the ice museum that we're gonna explore, but our reservation for that isn't until one, and it is not quite noon yet. So we've got some time to blow, and I think there's like a main lodge, maybe it's this building over here. Getting out here was a little interesting. It was like a little over an hour to get out here, and we drove literally to the very end of the road. This back here, end of the road. So there's not a whole lot out here, um, or on the way out here, there's like trails, a couple of homes, a couple of like camping places and lodges, a couple of pullouts where you could park an RV and camp, but not a whole lot. I think we passed one gas station on the way out here from town. So not a whole lot. And I would definitely recommend doing all of your um, like activities in town if you need to like eat if you need to use the restroom if you need to get fuel do all those things in town before you head out here to china hot springs just because there's no opportunity for that out here i guess this is the like main lodge building where you go to check in and then they have like a weird fish sculpture that's cool i guess we're inside the main lobby they do have a christmas tree in here and all kinds of taxidermy but I think my favorite thing is this owl that's up here for whatever reason like I have no idea but there's a gift shop in here too okay that was really rude okay so I went into the restroom and I washed my hands and I can tell by the smell of the water there's a lot of sulfur in the water up here probably why you know the hot springs are here and there's lots of lots of stuff you can do here we're gonna do the ice museum tour later so these are massage cabins here i just love that they have a sod roof with like a desperate need to be mowed i mean they really need a good shave all in the details here with like a carved bench outside the pool building. I can see, see steam. This must be it. The hot spring, oh I can feel it. This must be the hot spring over here. Ooh. Mm-hmm, smell that. <laughs> So we're not intended to dip or swim in either one of these. They're for ducks and moose only. The one that's for people is this one over here. Do you think they put the big rocks out here on purpose to keep the moose out? I think so. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to do it. It might be effective, I don't know. I spy what I think is a dragon, question mark? I mean, I think it's a dragon. Definitely, that's definitely a dragon. A dragon with immense eyelashes. Like, gotta admit, I'm a little bit jealous. Something else to note out here, 
Verizon does not have any signal. I don't know if Adam and Sherry's um, AT&T or GCI or whatever it is they have works. Let's go ask. So we are in China Hot Springs, like it's a resort area, but this is inside like a state park. So AT&T, which is what Adam and Sherry have, does not work. Verizon does not work. My guess is you just come out here to do the hot springs, not to talk on the phone or, you know, do anything where you connect with other people. Isolated out here. Okay. I love maps. So let's talk about the China Hot Springs map for a second. This is the China Hot Springs Road that I told you that ends here with China Hot Springs. The Ice Museum is this blue box over here. We went in here and we were actually gonna um, have a drink, but um, we got cut in front of in line. They never helped us. So now we are over here at the activity center because I think this is where you're supposed to check in for the Ice Museum tour. There's more gift shoppy stuff in here, like t-shirts and canisters, which is cool. Alaska sleep masks, headlamps, some really cool keychains. I love the little croc keychain and the little polar bear keychain and then shiny things like jewelry more jewelry. So they have a scale model of the China Hot Springs. Um, also, they have a little staircase thing for you to stand on to look into it, but I can't look at it over the top because it's so dusty, so please forgive any glare. But basically, this over here is the road in. There's one bridge. This over here is the Ice Museum, which we passed coming in. This over here is the main lodge, and this is the building where we're at right now. And then that gravel patch back there looks like um, a rectangle that is the pool or the you know the hot springs dipping pool it's kind of neat we are playing follow the leader on the tour to the ice museum we are i guess in the one o'clock um tour and I, I guess it's sold out completely These are the doors we came in, and I love the shape of them, but as you come in, there's like a seahorse over here, and a sunflower and ice here, and the workshop. So this is where they make the ice sculptures. And they have flowers all over the inside of this place, preserved in ice. So she said this is their Mardi Gras man who's missing his mask. This is the naked lady, who I guess was completed last week. And then their ice turret, which was sort of a mistake. The ice bar continues up here, and I think it's really cool because the stools actually have fur cushions on them. How cool is that? This is a replica of one of their entrance entries into like a contest, and I guess um, the creators of this made it three times bigger for the contest in one first place. This is their Coca-Cola bear. I guess China Hot Springs and Coca-Cola had a quick contract that ended in disaster for the coke bottle and embarrassment for the polar bear and i guess their igloo is interactive this is the chapel and you can actually get married in here and then they've got a cat over here she called him the very cool cat we've been seated at a table and given our martini glasses made of ice which they can make 30 of per hour very cool 
but she sat us at a table with a view of the naked lady. <laughs> it's very thoughtful of her. <laughs> but there are options. All right. Let's do it. Well, that was okay. Not sure what made it apple teeny except for the color because it was Midori and vodka, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the ice martini glass is actually really clever because it keeps your drink cold. So I guess there are hotel rooms back here, four of them, that you can actually stay in. And Adam and Cherry told me that they're interesting to look at. So I'm gonna come back here and check them out. Here's one. Ooh. Oh, there's a Christmas tree. Okay, and a little snowman. And <laughs> the bed. <laughs> Cute, hold on. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hotel room number two. Oh, so let me stand in the corner. This one's bed is shaped like a crown, but like the crown Ursula wears in The Little Mermaid. Um, oh no, I see what it is. It's a polar bear on his back and you sleep on his belly. There too. There's a bed up there too? <laughs> what? I don't know if I can stay here all night though. No, I don't think I would want to. <laughs> all right, number four. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it looks like an outhouse. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, I don't think I want to go in that. No. This is the bathroom. <laughs> With fur, right? Because yeah. you gotta. Yeah, very cool. Alright, one last look inside the ice museum. Ice bar. Naked lady. And I'm inside the tour tour it right now. Now they have a huge gigantic step up. Um, and it's also roped off, so you're not supposed to go up right now, but you used to be able to. I guess they're um, repairing it right now, so it's under construction. But Maybe someday you'll be able to go up it again. <clears throat> We've just come outside. And the tradition is like you buy the apple teeny, you get to keep the glass. She says it's dishwasher friendly, but it's actually made of ice. So the tradition is to make a wish and shatter your glass. I think I know what I'm going to wish for. I'm not going to tell you, but I think I know what I'm going to wish for. So, I'm going to make my wish and shatter the glass. <laughs> okay, that was a lot of fun. Also, why does this look like a mushroom? <laughs> okay, this looks like a mushroom. Adam and Sherry said I get a second wish. Yeah. So I'm going to try to shatter this again. Okay, I have my second wish. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little more frivolous than the first one, but okay. you know. Do it. Okay, here we go. Right. Okay, it broke off in a couple of pieces. <laughs> Wasn't great, but it's okay. Can we talk about the amazing, luxurious flowers and garden over here? Look at how pretty this is. Like dahlias and rhubarb back there, and then oh my goodness, beautiful. Look at it, it's endless. Beautiful. Okay, now that we're outside, and I've had a couple of minutes to make some wishes, and take some pictures, and reflect a little bit, I have some thoughts and feelings about the Ice Museum. Um, I have been to the Gaylord, um, I don't know if anybody else knows what I'm talking about. The Gaylord Hotels, I think all of them do like an ice exhibit, very similar to this but on a much larger scale generally around christmas time usually with like a different christmas movie theme um i've been to that before and been more impressed with it than this this is beautiful intricate amazing but small 
it's over an hour drive out here and there's not much to do out here so when this is done you don't have anything else to do unless you're staying here and you're gonna go into the hot springs and we're not doing that we are going back to Fairbanks so we really don't have anything else to do out here um I'm glad I did it I would not do this again unless I came out here to stay at Chena hot springs so I liked it didn't love it would recommend it once I mean kind of the same feelings as the um, Pioneer Park that we did yesterday slightly different but kind of so also the flowers out here are beautiful um, yeah it was fine glad we did it but now I'm hungry and I think the plan is to head back to Fairbanks and have Chinese food for lunch because apparently there's like a fantastic Chinese restaurant in Fairbanks and it's windy and now I'm eating my hair yum okay I was mistaken we're having lunch here at Pagoda in North Pole not Fairbanks but you know they're right next to each other so they're pretty close all right this place is so gaudy and tacky and I love it also they brought us a pot of jasmine tea when we sat down um, I haven't had any yet I'm really excited about it and the menu is like super heavy but it looks very traditional I'm so excited all right I'm gonna state the obvious the tea was really delicious <laughs> okay, food was really, really, really fast. This is the sesame chicken. Sherry got the garlic chicken, and Adam got the combination A. Mm -hmm. But seriously, though, the tea is so good. I just did a thing that I'm really, really proud of, but I should probably be ashamed that I'm not. I'm a member of the Clean Play Club. Look at this. I ate all of my chicken. Thank you very much. Can I take some bites out of you? Yes. Okay, he just cleared away our plates, but um, I thought you were overhyping this, telling me that it's like the best Chinese food in Alaska. This may be the best Chinese food I've had maybe, maybe ever. <laughs> it was so good, not overhyped. This was truly amazing. Just opened my fortune cookie and feels like they're flirting with me if it will focus. Yeah, <laughs> totally feels like I'm being flirted with. Alright, it's 4.30, we need something to do, so we're doing another brewery. Lat 65 apparently is really new, and it looks really cool. It's a cool looking building. Okay, lights, and a couple tasters for Sherry, and <laughs> stickers. I love the art in this place. It's really so cool in here. But I've never seen a flight board like this. Paddle, flight paddle. <laughs> it's so cool. Back at the airport, dropping off the car. About to go in and go through security. Fairbanks Airport today, sort of like a mausoleum. It's really quiet. When we came in a couple days ago, four flights landed all at the same time, but it's much less chaotic today. Made it through security, barely. The colored pencils I'm carrying are apparently dangerous, but this is the Fairbanks Airport. Gates 456 that way. A bar here, Starbucks coffee over there, and gates one, two, and three that way. It's just a little bit melancholy to know that I won't be going through this gate, this exit only, for a long, long time. Goodbye, pretty painting because the next time I come to the Anchorage airport will be to begin my journey home to Florida. It's a little bit melancholy. I'm not sad, but just a little bit, you know, melancholy, dose of reality. Whee! Hi, cutie. Okay, obviously, we are home now. We stopped at Great Alaskan Pizza Company to pick up a pizza and then, you know, we're home now. I'm gonna start unpacking. Sherry is, I think, taking a shower. I am covered, covered. My legs are covered in mosquito bites. I'm so itchy, I'm so itchy. Um, but anyway, that's gonna be it for the Fairbanks 
weekend. I think that's gonna be it for jet setting for a while. We don't have plans next weekend. Um, we do have plans for the following weekend, um, but those are not important right now. I'm going to put on my pajamas and unpack and have some pizza. Um, but anyway, I am gonna end this vlog. You guys will see me in another video really, really soon.